I can't mention names, but there was uh, there was one one young chap um, who lived in the in in the ducts for the ducts was was the the general sort of name for the for the, the basements. There's a whole tunnel system that ran throughout the hospital. Um, and went went under most of the most of the ground floor boards. And there's one young gentleman who, who lived in the ducks for for a couple of months. It was a, an an odd situation. There was a, a full size snooker table underneath the stage in the William Owen Hall. Um, and as young student nurses, we used to use that snooker table quite a lot. We had have to go under the under the stage uh, and downstairs to, to play on it. And leading off the room with the snooker room was was the entrance in, into the ducts. We did meet this young gentleman on a number of occasions. He'd hear the noise and he'd poke his head out to see what was happening. And he, he and, and another chap who was a patient here yeah, had almost like a little bedding area in, in the ducts. But because they were warm, he did pipes going through there. It was quite a, quite a comfortable little, little nest. They'd scrounge around the, the, the wards. Um, I mean, he was, he was known around the hospital during the day and he quite friendly with some of the porters. He'd give the porters a hand carrying food around to the, to the boards you know, and, and the odd loaf of bread and whatever would, would get felched. <laughs> 